Hello crafty friends, it's Tanya from Tinkering in Ink with Tanya and this time we're going to make a cute little gift card holder. <clears throat> I discovered quite by accident that a gift card fits behind the largest coffee cup in the coffee cafe stamp set. So that would be this one. And there is a die that cuts that out. There are a whole bunch of adorable stamps in this stamp set. And this is the coordinating dies. Bunch of fun things. And this fancy edge was created with the largest of the Lots of Labels die set. So, how about some measurements? We are going to cut us a piece of paper and this time I'm going to use soft suede. This On this one I used uh, Sahara sand. So we're going to cut it at 2 and 13 sixteenths by 8 and 1 half. Um, for those doing metric it's 7.1 centimeters and 21.6 centimeters. And then we're going to score it at 1 and 3 quarter and 5 and a half or 4.4 centimeters and 14 centimeters. Um, let's do some cutting. I know that some people are challenged a little bit by cutting, especially with those odd measurements. This is a piece of eight and a, of regular uh, cardstock, eight and a half by eleven. I this is probably cut down to like five and a half. So let's first find two and thirteen sixteenths. So here's the two and a half. Here's the two and three quarters, which would be 12 sixteenths. So we go one more. I don't know if you can see those little lines. Um, there's the two and three quarters again, or two and 12 sixteenths. So we're going to go one more to 13 sixteenths. And we're going to cut that. And let's get the cutting blade out. We'll cut that down. Now we will take the big shot and cut that fancy edge. This is partial die cutting that we're going to do here. It's always a little tricky fitting this thing on here. Uh, let me get the die out. So we're going to take there's the cutting blades. We're going to take those and we're going to fit, see how that slides up and down? The paper is right between there. So we're just going to slide the die down until it's just coming to the edge. And we'll make sure it's straight. It looks like you could go two and three quarters, but I haven't tried that. That would simplify things. All right, so we're going to do partial die cutting. So we don't want it to cut back here. We don't want this part to cut. So we're going to take our die, I mean our top plate, and put it part way down. And we're going to start cranking that through. You don't have to go over it twice. Um, but I just don't want to risk getting marks where I don't want them. So we'll back it back out. And there it is. I'll cut just on one spot and there's no funny creases along the cardstock. Let's get this back out of the way. Yes, my plates are well loved. So on this one, I used the marbled background paper, or background stamp, sorry. Um, and I think this time we're going to use the beans. They're fun. Did I put them on a block? Mm -mm, no, I didn't. All right, but next we should do our scoring. So remember, we're going to score at one and three quarters and five and a half or four and four 
4.4 centimeters and 14 centimeters, depending on if you do uh, metric or inches. So one and three quarters is right there, and this is my scoring blade. It's lighter. The cutting blade is darker. Make sure you get that cutting blade where you don't accidentally use it. Or you can use your scoreboard. I use that actually more than I use this. And five and a half. But just to simplify things. So we've got our score marks. Fold those over. Crease those really nicely. And as you can see, that just overlaps. So no wasted uh, paper there. All right, so let's do some stamping. All right, I'm gonna take the beans from this. And I think I'm gonna take the little hearts too. We'll make our own little background stamping uh, thing here. Mm, I think we want this one. I had prepped a whole bunch of, of um, blocks for the with the stamps I was going to use. And we'll grab the soft suede ink pad. Open that out. Yes, I'm experimenting again. So right side up is going to be this way. Just because I threw those hearts on there. Now I'm kind of regretting putting them all on one block. That's okay. Just zipping along here. Oops, missed the ink pad. I'm not being real particular about this, obviously. <laughs> there. All right, so that part's done. Now I'm going to take a scrap piece of crumb cake, and we're going to ink up this wood green one. And that's going to be the front coffee cup. There we go. And we're going to cut out um, two lids and two cups and a band. And this. Wow, that's a lot of cutting, isn't it? I'll take all those out. So we need a couple of lids. Okay. Do we have space? We do. I just happened to grab a scrap of paper big enough for all of this. <laughs> and we're going to use Thanks a latte. Actually, I wonder if we shouldn't have another pop of color. Maybe a little crumb cake. Or what color? Oh, that's right. I was going to use white, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to still use the soft suede here. And we're going to take the happiness is a cup of coffee. Now there's more to that sentiment, but I did a little more um, 
stamp surgery. I trimmed that off. I did the same with the Life Happens. I separated those two parts because I had another idea for that. So we'll take this, happiness is a cup of coffee, and we'll put it on this band. And maybe we'll take this and stamp that on the um, where the coffee cup is going to be. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There. Okay. So time to do some cutting. Clear some of this mess away. I know I'm kind of quiet. I'm not feeling very talkative today. Went out to eat last night. And boy, howdy. I had skipped lunch again. And overate so bad. I wasn't even hungry when it was time for breakfast. And if you know me, that's, that's an oddity. I'm always hungry. Always. Can always eat. Anybody else like that? I like my food. And I don't even drink coffee. I wish this had a tea option because I do drink a ton of tea. All right, I almost got these all lined up. I know I'm being so particular. Oops, that doesn't need to go through the die cut. Okay, here we go. So, whoops. My thanks a latte die shifted. So I'm gonna give it a little help. So it doesn't shift again. Just one more pass. Does this seem like a lot of work for a gift card holder to you? I didn't think so. <laughs> Did it shift? Warped plates make the magnetic platform less effective. Oh, that looks good enough. All right, let's take this business out of the way again. Okay, time for a little assembly. The plan is for this cup to sit here and be the thing the flap catches on, so it's a self-closure. So, we'll take a little bit of, uh, how are we gonna glue that? A little bit of tear and tape. It's probably bigger than we needed. So I'm going to fold it back. Where did all that fuzziness come from? Yes, I know it's a quarter inch. Could have used eighth inch, but this works. You make it an eighth inch. 
there. <coughs> Gonna use some dimensionals. And we don't want them to get in the way, so we're only going to put dimensionals on that side. Apparently, I had written something all over that, the back of that, to someone named Betty. Not sure who that was, whether it was my aunt or one of my stampin' friends. It must not have turned out right, and uh, yeah, must have messed up the card. And recycled. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we'll just stick that right there. See how that pops under. And then we're going to take our Thanks a Latte. And we're going to use one of these cute little corrugated. Boy, that's a whole lot of wood greeniness going on there. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just use this the way it is. This is adorable though on something that isn't so busy. This time I'm just going to use this. And we'll use a little more tear and tape because I have it handy. <clears throat> that centered. Looks pretty good. Okay, now we need to assemble this part. <clears throat> okay, this time I am, let's see, let's overlap that a little bit, little bit. that's okay, you'll see in a minute. Find this easier to line up if I take the cup and line it up with the lid. Oh shoot. Do have to fold that under. It's not gonna work the way I was thinking it was going to. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, and we'll glue that on there. I'm gonna use a little of the fine tip glue pen because that's again what I had handy. I can't use the wonderful Tombow liquid glue multi-purpose stuff because it's got latex in it and I'm allergic to latex. I wish I wasn't because that glue is awesome. When I kept coughing so much that my stamp club <laughs> couldn't understand what was going on, uh, I finally gave up. I did not use it anymore after that. Okay, so we're just putting a smidgen of this tape down on each end. And where is it? Oh, if you could see my desk right now. It is such a mess. Okay, make sure that this is going to fit in here, and it does. <clears throat> make sure we're right side up. And we're gonna just to pop this right on there. Pull the backing off. And I do recommend a strong adhesive. Center that. Oop, that's not really quite centered. There we go. <clears throat> and look at that. Slides right in there, closes, easy peasy, and there's room to leave the message on this side. All right, so there's my two different versions. This one, I did take a piece of, uh, this was all done on watercolor paper. Um, I took a piece of watercolor paper and trimmed that to make a little bit of more ac accent on this edge if you wanted that, and this was one of the many vellum Eastern medallion um, doily type things that I'd made. I have a stack of them on my desk. These are all going to make it into projects eventually. Um, but that's that's the project. I bet you could um, 
find other ways to make this work, but uh, I think it's going to be my mission in the next little bit to figure out how many stamped and die cut items would hold a gift card. I think it's a pretty clever idea. Uh, <clears throat> all right, that's it for me today. Don't forget to go shopping. You can just find you can find a clickable supply list at the bottom of my YouTube description, and, or you can go to my blog. There will be more details and more projects because this is part of a blog hop featuring the Coffee Cafe bundle with the Stamp Review Crew. So you can click on the link to my blog. If you have questions about Stampin' Up, I'd be happy to help you. Just contact me with a comment or email me however you'd like. Thank you. Bye-bye.